How do you make a luxuriously silky, I'm talking with my mouth full. How do you make a luxuriously silky creamy pasta sauce using nothing but olive oil, water, and the pasta itself? The answer is starchy pasta water. If you spend much time looking at our pasta recipes on Serious Eats, you'll start to notice something that we do a lot, which is that we tell you to finish the pasta in the sauce with some of its starchy water. Why do we do that? The easiest way to demonstrate why the starch itself is important is with an oil-based sauce. An example of an oil-based sauce is something like spaghetti al aglio, olio e peperoncino. I have to say it slowly because it's too many diphthongs back to back. It's essentially olive oil, garlic, red pepper flakes, and then the pasta. It's extremely simple. It's a very, very, very classic Italian pasta dish. But the trick with it is, if I just dress the pasta in that sauce, it's gonna be greasy, because the oil is greasy, it's slick. What I wanna do is I wanna create something that's more like a sauce, that has a, an emulsified texture, something that's a little bit creamier, a little bit more luxurious, silky. The hard part is if you just combine oil and water, they really don't wanna to go together very well. And that's where the starch comes in that's in the pasta water. So to show you what I mean, I'm going to make spaghetti al aglio, olio e peperoncino, and I'm going to do one version where I put the pasta in my very simple sauce of oil, garlic, and red pepper flakes, and I try to emulsify it using just plain water. Then I'll make the batch again, but I'll use the pasta water, and we'll see what difference the starch really makes in the pan. Aglio, olio. It's impossible. Now we're gonna go real gently here because we don't want our garlic to burn. Here's some olive oil. I'll go in cold. I'm not preheating the oil because I really want to slowly coax the flavor out of the garlic and the red pepper flakes without burning them. It's the worst thing you can do in this dish is burn everything. Burnt garlic is nasty. I feel like this is one of those pasta dishes that Italians eat so much of and most Americans don't even know exists. So for this go around, like I said, we're just going with the pasta and we're gonna try to finish it in the pan with a little water. In goes our Paschetti, our garlic is slowly going. Here's a trick. If you wanna stop your garlic from burning in a situation like this, add water. It doesn't even have to be pasta water, just add water. The water will halt the browning reactions. Add the water, cook off the water. Add the water, cook off the water. So my pasta is basically there. It's, it's still quite al dente, which is a good time to move it to the pan. And in this instance, I'm going to make sure I drain it really well. So we'll shake off our starchy pasta water. In we go. So now I'm adding just tap water. There's no starch in it. And the question is, can I create a creamy sauce with this? I can see the oil droplets breaking up into smaller ones, but it's just not holding. Not easy to make a good creamy sauce like this. Chances are I end up with something greasy and slick and oily, like it's just oil. I mean, I'll eat it, don't get me wrong. Should I say something else? So second round, in goes my pasta. This time I'm going to use the starchy water from the pasta in my final pan sauce. You're better off cooking pasta in a lesser volume of water relative to your amount of pasta, as long as you stir it really well to prevent the pasta from sticking to itself. Because the less water you have, the starchier it's going to get. Garlic and red pepper flakes. Tiny little bubbles are forming around the garlic. All right, we're gonna transfer our pasta to the pan. This time I'm not worried about draining it because I want the starchy pasta water going into this batch. In we go. My pasta is nice and al dente, so I have time to continue cooking it without the risk that it's going to overcook. Now, as this water reduces, it's gonna concentrate the starch even more. Anything that's agitating, whether it's me swirling the pan, stirring the pan, tossing, boiling, is good for helping form that emulsion. A little more. The only thing you have to look out for is if you've seasoned your pasta water nicely, there's a certain point of transferring it over and reducing that you are also gonna start concentrating the salt too much. You're gonna have inedibly salty pasta. 
And the sauce has a kind of a viscosity now because of the emulsion. So it has body in a way that it didn't have before. Before it was just slick and greasy. Now it's creamy. It's just a beautiful sauce. There's nothing but oil, garlic, red pepper flakes, and the starchy pasta water. Yeah, and if at any point your emulsion breaks, it just means you've evaporated too much of the water out. It's just like a pan sauce. Just add a little more water to bring it back together. This is the, the pans after I have emptied them out. Look how the oil pools in the one that did not have the pasta starch in it and how much more slowly it's flowing in the one that does. This is gonna be the far better plate of pasta. Basta.